What would the game be like if the new MMR changes became permanent? In order to find out the answer to this question, I decided to play one game with every single killer during the 24-hour test. Now, this wasn't a task I would wish on my worst enemy, but I once sat through an entire high school talent show, so I know how to extend and stand hours upon hours of sheer mental torture. After the 18th killer, we ran out of time because I had to go do real life stuff, you know, hobos gotta make that money. Even so, the massive amount of data we were able to accumulate was uh, very eye-opening. Here's a quick look at all the killers I played during my test. At the very bottom are killers I almost never play. Um, right above there are killers I seldom play, I grasp the basics and I have trouble executing basic things. Uh, right above in the middle, killers I'm fairly comfortable with. Above that, in the green range, are killers I win most of my games as and I've played a lot of games. And at the top is Legion because I've developed my own meta, or not meta, my own play style for him that I've never seen anyone else do and it's fun, aggressive, and lethal. And I win most games that way. So from left to right, this is the order of the killers I played each game as. Above their heads, I'm throwing a colored bubble to show the proficiency I have with them, and below their heads, I'll put another colored bubble to show the proficiency of the survivors I go against, and then below that, the kills I got per game as well. So let's get right to the trapper game. There were no unusual offerings or items or anything this match. Okay, thank you. Ooh, that's a nice grab. Where? How? It's, it's really bad over here. It keeps like disconnecting for seconds at a time. Do you have anything that might help? Alright, now we've got some map pressure. So, again, you might not. Whew. We placed mediocre traps at best, and our internet failed for half the match, and we still, they just didn't stand a chance. Onto the Wraith game, now you could see some prestige in this lobby, so maybe better survivors? Ah, oh. we made him think twice because we turned around. Oh, nice grab, alright. See if we can catch any do-gooders. Dead hard, maybe. Yes, he did, but he didn't get very far with it. Yep, perfect. Oh, man. Yes, it was. We've got two slugs. That guy's almost recovered. We need to hook him ASAP. It's gotta be deception, right? Wait, does he have a skill strike? Oh, he did have skill strike. Um, so we ended up having three average opponents and one person completely new to the game. And it was a fairly easy game. And on to the next game. The Billy game stands out because I've actually played a few games as Billy, but it made me sit in queue for 10 minutes while it found literally new people to the game. I hook the first guy easily and I look across the map and I catch this person on barbecue doing nothing. I chainsaw all the way over and they're still doing nothing and they go down. And the rest of the game is exactly like that. <laughs> New killer, if the survivors are handing me three downs, it's hard to get good at landing the good techs, you know what I mean? If I'm not playing against survivors that know the killer oh. play. Yeah, dude. So this part I'm not liking, I'm going to talk about that in my video for sure. Because I don't think they're just going down like flies. I've got two hooks. Ones are too quiet. Well, they're down now. Oh, this okay. survivor just surprised me while I. <laughs> Bill, move! You need to run, dude! Hi, I found both of you. Let's end this. After all that time, dude. <laughs> so, this is bad for them because they shouldn't have to go against a killer with 1500 hours. It's bad for me because I can't practice. Billy and get better unless I'm going against survivors that understand some of the kens and cans with counterplaying the chainsaw. So really poor match, very poorly balanced. Nurse was the killer and maybe the only killer that the MMR actually made sense for. Ah! Alright, got my first down. That was actually a really cracked blink. <laughs> I just went to the basement. 
length in the base of backs, and again, this happens to me so much as nurse, I lose games this way. <laughs> oh, but she crept up on me. Oh. Dang it! What's the W key holder? Oh, because it's like learning a completely different game as far as movement and chase goes. Sure, you have transferable skills like map awareness and knowing about pressuring gens and just other stuff, but none of that means anything if you can't lean, <laughs> lean, <laughs> land your blinks. And I cannot land my blinks. The white ward. Yeah, they're out for blood. One toolbox. What do you think the white ward is a brand new part? <laughs> Whoa! 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 Okay, Billy's taking longer. And then I just go clip it, and then I... This guy surrendered, I'm gonna give him hatch. He's not wiggling, I have to give him hatch, it's the law. Dude, I called it, the white ward was the brand new part. I've played a lot of Hunter's games, and I think they could have matched me with a few more challenging opponents. Uh, not too much to say about this game. At least three of them were definitely on comms. They had no tracking perks, but long before I would come a tier one to try to find someone, they would just be long gone or immersed without any line of sight around walls. It, it didn't matter. So it just seemed weird to me so far with MMRs. I've played probably, you know, a decent amount of Moogle games early on, so they had data on me. They should have known that I wasn't that great at him, and yet they pitted me against way more powerful opponents than my better killers. So I was like, hmm, that's kind of weird. Um, I'm a very bad hag. I very rarely play her. I, I don't find her fun. So I understand the theory, but I have a difficult time implementing it. So some of my traps are too close. I miss easy teleports. Um, I commit too long to chases sometimes. Um, but even so, with the MMR saying my hag MMR is low, I make all of these mistakes and they put too many new people against me. And it was a really easy victory. And I don't think that that should have been the case. In a normal game, I would have lost, and I should have lost. How hard can they be? There they are. And they're good, though. Oh, we have to leave that guy alone. I heard a locker. Nice. Oh my goodness. Wow. This guy made some distance. I'm pretty in the business. Nice. I'm just gonna let her die. This was definitely one of the more balanced matches. I don't really play Doctor, not too good. Most of them weren't too good either, except the Fang was pretty exceptional. All right, so we're on to the Bubba game. Normal auto just uh, kill you. Ow. 
I actually usually do pretty good with Bubba. This game, I had a lot of unnecessary tantrums that cost me a few downs, and they did have one guy leave through the gates. But even so, pretty easy game, very forgiving of mistakes. Um, I don't think they should have put that low against Bubba. Ha! Fred used another one of those killers I've only ever played one game with. One guy DC'd immediately and I farmed with the rest, never touched him again. So for this trial, I put on Pallet Freddy with Fire Up, Whispers, Thrilling Tremors, and a Devourer that got cleansed right away. And Pallet Freddy was actually almost fun. It was dumb. But I don't find him fun. There's no denying he's strong, but his strength doesn't come from any kind of skill on the killer's part. You just hold W and win because it's hard to see you, it's hard to hear you. He's just a really overloaded guy, desperately in need of a nerf. So they put me against three really good survivors and one noob, and that it was still just easiest game of my life. So MMR needs to take into account how broken Freddy is. Man, we're doing bad. <clears throat> I think they've got us with this. Just crack. Get her away from me. Alright, we've got two downed pallets. One Kate doesn't seem to know what she's doing. Get out of here. Get her hat. That guy got his hat off way too fast. Man, we used to kiss her so it's good a pig, but MMR is actually crazy. Yeah. Pig I thought I was really good at, but I ended a couple chases really fast, and my generators were just gone. Two rank 14s, and I just happened to chase the two uh, red rank and the TTV, -er, and then boom, gens are gone, people got out. It was kind of ridiculous. Names don't look familiar. Fancy. First on the yeah, she's <laughs> Now, it's worth slowing down here and talking about MMR in regards to my clown game. For people that know me, I've got a video out called The Clown Experience, because clown's actually one of the killers I play quite a bit. I'm not an expert, but I'm I'm good. I'm, I'm at least average at him. And so the MMR really bumped me up on this one, probably sent some of the strongest survivors I've faced during this whole gamut because I've played so much clown. But what was interesting is that the chases weren't harder. Um, what survivors did at a higher MMR was they would leave sooner from gens, but if they were close to finishing, they would stick on gens more. And so gens got done really fast. And so this is something people have to think about with the new MMR. It's not going to affect your actual interactive gameplay as much as you're just going to be forced maybe to... Uh, I, I'm not sure. Just play a little more cutthroat to deal with people who are really good at holding M1. And that's, you know the way we have it right now. Some survivors are really good at holding M1 and some aren't as good and it kind of creates this nice mix. So with the current MMR the way it is, sometimes you get games where all four are really good at holding M1 and sometimes where all four are really bad at holding M1, like in my Billy game. And that's something to think about. You lose that mix with a so-called balanced matchmaking and it does change the game pretty drastically. Spirit's another killer I don't play because I played her once, no perks, no add-ons when I got her, and it was just kind of too easy. It was pretty boring. Um, she has a really low skill floor. All you need to do to be a good spirit is have a pair of working headphones. So, <laughs> obviously there's a few tricks in there, but these survivors didn't even give me a chance to do the standstill so-called mind game. And it took me 10 minutes to find a match because I have no spirit data. The game was like, let's throw him up against a bunch of f new players. But again, with MMR, you can't take a player with 1,500 hours just because they haven't played spirit before. It doesn't mean they don't, they're going to do poorly. It doesn't mean that they're not going to understand M1 gaming. And it was just a bloodbath, dude. It was the most massacre match, probably. Maybe only rivaled by the Billy match. I'm just gonna end them, dude. I feel bad. <laughs> Alright. And I win. That was the most easy game.
because Spirit is nasty, dude. <laughs> Three rank 20s and a rank 17. So this looks like a good team. Here's the maps. Like people like. Going so far. <laughs> like wh which one? Oh, quick and quiet too. That was probably a bet you that was a dance with me combo. Let's have a conversation about you leaving your teammates to die. Commit to a gen right next to me. Are you killing or surviving in 64? I'm kidding. I figured I'd give it a shot. I haven't played Deathslinger in ages. I'm running a real empty ah! Deathslinger build. It's Claudette, come just back. tap the gen. Then they went for the hook. Yeah, these guys are good, dude. Bad times at the El Royale. Why are you over there? You shouldn't have tapped that gen, my friend. Now you're gonna die for it. Yeah, yeah, I know, you got live. Oh, live, it could actually maybe outrun this power. Let's see. Can you? No, you cannot. So, like I said, Legion is my jam, and these guys played well in the same way they played well against my clown, where they were gen jockeys and really good at running around, but when it came down to it, they fell very quickly. This might have been one of the few times where MMR worked, because even against four gen jockeys, my Legion strategy still triumphed. We heard that. There was really nothing too interesting about the Plague game. I am not a good Plague, but again, they matched me up with so many new survivors, and they made so many mistakes that I was allowed to make a lot of mistakes and still win the game. Alright, on to our Ghostface game. We immediately found a game where we're using budget recovery add-ons. Alright, he's already marked, so we can just go ahead and see this guy. Why not? I'm a pretty terrible ghost face. I actually plan on learning him. He's quite fun. I've just been working on some other killers right now. But since I'm so bad and I haven't played much of him at all, and I get mercilessly bullied the one time I tried in a normal game, these they match me up with total noobs again, and they just hand me the 4K with no effort. It's not... I'm not going to be able to learn Ghostface if I go against these kinds of survivors. Same as Billy. I'm not going to be able to learn the killers I want to learn if they don't let me play against people who know how to counterplay it. Distance. I think we saw them hide. He's going to take the window. Yeah. self-care in front of me tells me decisive, so we'll just go after this guy again. Um, we're gonna go to that window and they're gonna jump the other one. Now that's just like the other guy right there, so... No way, they're cracked! Awesome, dude. <laughs> had to click me at the end, that's great. But we ran into a really interesting problem with MMR on Demogorgon. Now with Pig and Clown, pretty straightforward killers, um, we had really good survivors. Demo, who I'm actually also very good at, I didn't get as challenging ones as I did Pig and Clown. I realized it's probably because there's so many bad demo players that don't play the Bronx demo like I do, like anyone should. I mean, Bronx has the definitive guide on demo. I mean, no one's improved on it yet. So for... Um, Survivors are going to have inflated high MMR against killers that they actually aren't good against. And this is going to affect me when I get really good at a killer like, say, Demogorgon. It's going to be hard to go against good survivors because they're going to win against so many bad Demogorgons that I'm not going to have as tough of a competition. So, Oni's a lot like Ghostface. He's a killer I think would be really fun to learn. I just haven't learned him yet, so the match went really similar. I'll just show a long clip while I'm talking here. You can see I, I miss an easy power, but the entire game, survivors gave me free hits. You'll see one of those. I didn't really want to spend too much time on this game. 
it was very predictable. It was just a lot of W holding, a lot of missed dashes, and a lot of survivors not doing gens, not using windows and pallets efficiently, and it was just horrible. And again, I, I'm not going to be able to learn Oni if I'm forced to grind out of this MMR just to get the survivors and know how to counterplay them. So I, I really, really hope, I'm really starting to hope this change doesn't go through. And last, but certainly not least, the PP head game. I just put out a great video on him. He's one of the killers I've been practicing, and out of all the games I played, this was the most perfect one. A lot of back and forth. There was a variety of skill levels. I played hard. The survivors played hard. I got two kills. There was two escapes. Like It was amazing. Like There was probably never in quite a while a more balanced, perfect game of Dead by Daylight. Nice, alright. The third guy. Oh, hello. <laughs> However, we do have two people. This guy right here. Yeah, go ahead. Go around that gulag juice. See what I care, dude. So yeah, there was only one match where all the skill levels were perfectly aligned, the game was fun, survivors got to win, I got to win, everyone felt good, and I found out after this match, the MMR test was actually over, and so this wasn't during the MMR, this was just a regular normal game of Dead by Daylight, go figure. So to recap and looking back at the other games. I'm putting red X's where MMR didn't really work for me. And I think in a lot of those red X's didn't really work for the survivors either. And I put some green check boxes where I said, okay, it kind of worked. And sometimes I don't think it worked for the right statistics or reason or data. Because I do think that sometimes they mean well, but I think the developers rely too much on the statistics and not on the actual facts of the matter of how the game is played and what the transferable skills between killers are. And I think the current matchmaking, while not perfect, is preferable to the MMR. And I think that while some people gripe that games are too hard, I really enjoy getting better at the game, and I get better at the game, and I can learn killers better, like these cool demo and pyramid head things, because I'm able to fail and learn against good survivors, and I don't want that taken away from me. So, this is uh, wraps up the experiment. Uh, please feel free to leave any thoughts or objections or agreements or just random comments uh, in the comments. I'd be happy to discuss, because I threw a lot of ideas and experiences here, and I'm sure there's other opinions, but yeah, that's that's about it.